Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the new game from Amplitude Studios called Endless Space. It is a Space 4X game uh, that was just recently uh, released, I think it was this week, either Tuesday or Wednesday. And it's pretty cool, I played a little bit, um, maybe about an hour, uh, just experimenting with some things, just making sure I know the ropes before I make this made this video to make it... Uh, go a little smoother so I'm not trying to figure out things as much. There's still plenty to figure out uh, but hopefully we can do that as we play in this video and that'll be pretty cool to discover some new things. Uh, firstly I do want to turn off tutorials and I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit more. Uh, the sounds aren't really important. They're pretty cool. Ambient sounds, space sounds, the music is, is pretty good background music but probably better if you are not struggling to hear my voice over the music all right and with that we're going to start a new game first screen here uh oh, before we continue i'll just say that i'm gonna act like you kind of know uh the game a little bit uh you maybe you just played a little of the alpha or the beta maybe you played a little like me or you, you know you could be a complete veteran but at least you know a little bit so I won't go into de the details of all the screens and stuff like that I'll just kind of play and explain things as I go but I'm gonna just go with the default settings here um, I haven't looked into anything that much in terms of customizing the play of uh, the game uh, I figure the United Empire is pretty pretty basic and just four competitors so three and uh, me and three a AIs uh, small galaxy simple shape simple age uh, so let's go ahead and start the game all right we get an intro video but I'm just gonna skip that all right so first things first we have heroes so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those and actually I'm just gonna go up here actually I'm gonna close that here I want to take a look at our media area first we have a star system with five planets, one of which is colonized, and the other four we cannot yet colonize. We have our two fleets to start out with, one colony ship uh, and one with a scout ship. And we have three paths that we can take uh, to lead to new star systems. We have red supergiant, yellow sun, and this one's a protostar. So let's go into our star system here. Medium term planet that's colonized, three out of six. There's no exploitation, so let's go ahead and. Well, it is Terran. So let's check our. Yes, we're low on food in our in this system. So, whoops. Uh, so let's go ahead and build this evolved soils, which will increase our food per turn on this planet by two because we're it's a Terran and it's a planet, and that'll cost 40 industry take five turns and there's no anomalies or resources on that planet in fact we only have one resource and it's in this whole star system and it's on Silifor Silfor and it's void stone so that's good we'll make note of that approval's good population's good it's gonna go up in 12 turns nothing we can really do about that right now except know increase the food which we're doing um, I'm not gonna actually maybe I should well we're building this right now so I won't worry about uh, queuing up anything else so our system looks good actually what we're gonna want to do is add a hero so let's actually do that right now okay we have a couple heroes we have three heroes for hire we have a pilot an adventurer an administrator an adventurer and a pilot adventurer this guy is only. Let's take a look at this guy. Yeah, this guy's got min and max damaging percentage increases, star system defense increases, invasion increase, uh, percentage increase, increasion. That's not a word. That is not a word. Uh, and then, see, yes, the. I like. I was. Um, when I was playing through earlier, I was reading through these and it seemed very confusing at first because 
they're all 20% and they all kind of seem similar but it's the wording it's pretty cool so this one say it's plus 20% to interception accuracy on one missile per round on fleet defenses so basically there's three and laser damage absorbed per round on fleet dis defenses kinetic projectiles deflected per round on fleet defenses now there's three types of attack uh, there's missiles there's lasers and there's kinetic and so basically these three uh, percentage increases are for each of those attacks but they use different wording so it's like interception you know you intercept missiles to defend against them you absorb laser damage to defense defend against it and you deflect kinetic projectiles to defend against it so it's pretty cool instead of just saying yeah you gain plus 20 defense on missiles they kind of do a little wording so that's that's pretty cool that they put that in there uh, but we're not going to want this guy. We want, I guess, the best we have right now for a system uh, administrator is this guy. His name is Chakra Rysteel. And he has a couple damage modifiers. Uh, he has good defense modifiers for our star system. Uh, he does have some invasion power as well. And some some of the defense on each of the attack types on the fleet defenses but he does have right here our plus 10 to food and industry which is what we want so we're going to hire him no we can't hire him yet we will though because we only have 10 dust and then dust is the currency in this game but we need 20 to recruit him so we're going to wait and right now actually let's check our finances we have our dust is current of 10 and plus 14 uh, so that's 14 per turn and uh, well another thing that's really cool about this game uh, is the interface is really well done and almost everything has a tool tip so if you don't really know what something means you can you know t tool tip uh, highlight over it and you'll get a little tool tip that explains it so if I highlight over uh, this for example dust so it says the intergalactic currency is dust a rare resource left from the time of the endless whoops this is the total amount generated in this empire. So the current value is actually 14.8. Um, and that's per turn. And it's 17 from our systems. And then we have upkeep from fleets. Looks like it's uh, two, which would be two ships. So one per ship in those fleets. And uh, this this screen is really cool. It lets you get, gives you a very tabled view of all your star systems tells you their basic fids, which is the food industry, science, and dust, the queued, op, uh, the queued thing in the production queue, uh, any ships in the hangar. It also lets you automate uh, using an AI manager, automate, uh, and it'll prioritize, you know, food, industry, dust, science, uh, military, diplomatic, uh, approval improvements. And it'll or it can balance it, but we'll just go ahead and leave that the way it is. And okay, so we'll close out of this. And one thing I do want to do is get some research going. Now, when I was, there's the tree is very large. Uh, it's this whole thing, there's a lot of nodes to go through. Um, and it looks like on first glance, you might say, oh, wow, there's a lot of dependencies, so it's going to be slow going. But actually, the way dependencies work in this game is that you only need one dependency from the layer above it so for example if I wanted to research compact fusion reactors I would only need one of these two so and then down again so if I wanted applied casimir uh, effect I would only need efficient shielding or compact fusion react fusion reactors so that makes it um, the paths you can take pretty unique most uh, more more than likely you're going to be coming back and getting the small upgrades anyway because they're going to be worth it but it makes it a little easier to set uh, a path of research that's that's pretty unique and that can uh, fit your the situation that you're in and speaking of research we're going to come down to this uh let's actually just go through these we have applied sciences we have exploration and expansion diplomacy and trading galactic warfare um, and I think what I found in my last er, and while I was playing earlier is um, actually let me close this and explain something with the galaxy so we have the galaxy map that is composed of star systems and 
there are warp gates I guess I don't know if they're officially called warp gates but those are the links connecting each star system but within the whole galaxies are con what are called constellations which are collections of, gal of, of star systems that are connected with warp gates and then so th but the whole galaxy isn't connected with warp gates what you find is you'll eventually find wormholes which connect constellations um, and you need a special research uh, in order to go through them and it's this one right here uh, the applied casimir effect total hull integrity which unlocks space travels via wormholes so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna beeline it as fast as we can toward uh, the applied casimir effect Last time I didn't exactly beeline it. I kind of went for soil xenobiology, and then like I almost did. Um, and actually, we're just gonna do that again. Opening up xenobotany will allow us to colonize tundra, which will allow us to expand our empire, uh, and then that might increase our science uh, science uh, re uh, earnings so that we can research quicker. So. That research is going. It'll take five turns. Because we're earning eight. Yeah, eight science per turn. Okay. Let's take a look at our diplomacy screen. There's we haven't met anybody yet, so that's useless. Our ship screen gives us a nice overview on the left, and then our ship designs here on the right. Um debating whether or not to start messing with the designs already because I have noticed that the colony ship is pretty slow. Uh, so I might just go ahead and... And there's, all, there's plenty of... Well, there's 32 tonnage left, if my math is correct there. And it doesn't have an engine. Well, it has an engine, but it doesn't have any modifications to it. Right now, all it has is this seed mod. Which is for the col uh, colonies, uh, which allows colonization of other planets. Uh, for a colony ship, this early in the game, we're not going to need weapons or defense. Uh, what we really need is some speed. So we have these induction drive tuners, which will increase our movement by four, uh, two per turn, and that's thirty. So we'll have two tonnage left over. So we're going to go and apply on that. Then we are going to. See, we can't retrofit uh, because we don't. Right now, we have our colony ship in uh, a controlled system, so we could retrofit it, which will upgrade the ship to the newest design. You can see here we have colony two because we upgraded, um, but it's going to cost eighty-one dust, which we don't have, so that's that's okay. And at the moment, you can't colonize anything in here. Even uh, if you. Basically, the way colonization works is if you're colonizing a star system that you don't currently have any planets colonized on, you have to use a, col uh, a colony ship. But if I was, say I was able to colonize Arctic here, I could just open this up and I would be able to queue up the colonization order here. I wouldn't need another colony ship, which is pretty cool. You don't need to just churn out, you know, civil, uh, you know settlers pretty much if you want to go with uh, the civ and all uh, analogous civ reference all right let's send our colony ship to the uh, yellow sun here similar to earth i suppose and let's send our scout ship out to this proto star he's probably gonna reach it no he doesn't doesn't have enough move turns and i think that's it for turn number one that took a little while, but I was kind of explaining things, so let's go ahead and go to the next turn. Okay, um, I was watching a, an alpha or beta video earlier today, and he did mention the there was an issue with ship move orders not going through until you press the end turn button, but it looks like the developers have added this button called Execute All Planned Moves of Your Fleets, which will basically do that it'll it'll uh any orders that the ship currently has it'll continue on and so we each of our ships have has arrived at their destination so let's take a look at oh we actually 
you have a Terran planet over here. Excellent. No anomalies or resources. That's okay, though. It's a planet we can colonize. And would, as luck would have it... No, that's our scout. Luck wouldn't have it. And so we're going to send our colony ship over here. And we're going to send our scout up here. I'm guessing there's going to be some more warp gates or some wormholes up there. Let's actually take a closer look at this planet. It's a medium Terran, so we can support six people. And it has a moon, which is cool. Um, oh, we actually can't learn much about it until we colonize it. But it does have a moon, um, and there's a, something you can do. I forget exactly what, but I know. You have to have a certain research opened up, but that'll allow you to do something. And yeah, some negative uh, anomalies. That's unfortunate, but no anomalies here. Yeah, and there's luxury. There's a pretty good luxury resource there. Good for invasion and uh, approval in science. All right. So our production's still running uh, over here on Sylph, Syl Sylphy, Sylphi, whatever that thing over there. Uh, and I don't think we have much else to do. Oh, we actually do have enough for our heroes. We were looking at this guy in order to, and we want to uh, assign him to a system. So we're going to assign him to Sylph. And so, again, if we look at this, we get uh, these, the min-max damage increase, or increase uh, percentages don't apply because he's a assigned to a system, but we do get plus 25 defense and plus 25 percent defense. This was a little weird. I don't know why there's plus 25 and then plus 25 percent. I'm not sure how that calculation goes. There might be a bug, but I'm not sure. Um, and then we get plus 10 percent each to our food and industry. And he has good labor, uh, which is food and industry, hence uh, the plus 10 percent over here. It's pretty good defense as well. That's why there's plus 25. Oh wow, melee is pretty good as well for ground combat invasion. Ah, uh, yeah, hence the plus fifty percent to invasion. I would assume. I don't know everything, but that was what it's leading me to believe. Let's take a quick look here. Okay, we're good for our next turn. And our colony ship is probably not going to get to way over here. Yet, yeah, it's pretty slow, like I said before, which is why I really wanted to modify that design. Uh, but we didn't have enough dust to retrofit it. And let's take a look over here. Hydro meal. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Wow, that's great for food. Yeah. And it's tundra, so uh, that's that's doable. Doesn't have a moon. Arid as well. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, okay, it's a plus 10 approval and plus 1 industry. That's cool. Rich atmosphere. Oh, this is a pretty good system. Small, but two moons, lava, arid, tundra. Yeah, this is good. I think I might... Yeah, I think I might go for tundra first. And actually, we need uh, xenology uh, to in order to use that resource. One other cool thing about the what is this? The research uh, panel is you can search for things. And we get one match. We locate. Oh, Xenology is right there. So that might be something I look at right away. You can see uh, there's always two things. Uh, I don't know what really to call these, but for each research node, you get two effects. I guess that's a good, yeah, effects. So you get Animalia, which will unlock all these resources for you. And then you'll get uh, the star system improvement. And just going back and looking at the star system, there's different, uh, basically you can have uh, improvements on the system wide scale. And then you, per planet, you can have an exploitation, which is what we're uh, researching or what it's, uh, queued up here okay I think that's it I still don't think this guy's gonna reach way yet our scout ship is probably not going to reach this red red super giant I think it's a red super giant yes it is okay let's resolve our move yep still no and 
you'll notice the hero's cost in order to recruit went up. It used to be 20 for all of them. And when I bought this guy, they all went up to 80. And then I think it went, goes to 140. And in 48 turns, we'll have access to some new ones. It's unfortunate. These guys are very, very similar. 00555. And this guy is the exact same. Yeah. They have the exact same two classes and attributes. So that's a bummer. Alright. Alright, turn four is good. Resolve our movement. And let's first things first, we're going to colonize the star system. Our Terran planet here. We get a little notification. Because we this is our first colonize uh, colony. Besides our primary system, which is denoted, uh, I want to make sure I get the terminology, home system, that's it, which is why it has this little crown here, and three is the population, and I really like the GUI, explains a lot uh, right off the bat, so you can see this, these dots represent the planets, up to a maximum of six, blue is what is colonized, red cannot be colonized, and white can be colonized. I think you probably saw there was a white over here before we colonized it. And then above each of those dots is the resource uh, that it, is, ha it has access to. And that's per planet as well. So it's really nice. And you get what's queued up down here. So a lot of information on the screen without actually diving into the screen, which is cool. All right, so let's go to way here. So we have uh, one guy, one person on way. And our approval's good. I'm not sure what that pink means. Is that pink here? It is. Okay. It must just, must just be gooey color. Okay. Now let's get an exploitation going on here. Now it is Terran, so it'll benefit more uh, for the evolved soils exploitation because we'll get plus two instead of just plus one for be it being a planet. So we're going to go with that. Actually, let me take a look at mm, It could. This system could use a little more science, but population is good. So let's go with our evolved soils. And this was the uh, technology that I was talking about earlier for the moon. You need adaptive colonies, which is requires a lot of research costs. So that's probably pretty far down in the tree. And I'm not sure exactly. I think there's some kind of survey. It surveys it and then there's a chance of something happening. Uh, I don't really know much beyond that. Let's actually go to the screen. Adaptive. Uh, we get four matches. Adaptive colonies. Here it is. Moon survey, which is this one. Survey the moon of orbiting planet with luck. It is possible to find the remains of endless observation stations and temples. Okay, I guess the endless are like the people that came before like the precursors or whoever was here before us. Like, uh, what's the name of them in Mass Effect? I can't believe I've forgotten. But, yeah, basically that. And so it's four down from Arid. And it's four down from Xenobotany as well. So we could be there in a good, you know, hour or so. And we also get simple anomaly reduction. Simple anomaly reduction. So I would guess these. Uh, okay, so these anomalies probably go away, maybe? Which would be nice because those are probably all negative anomalies. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so we have our exploitation going here. And we're not going to build any other ships right now. We could use another hero once we get the dust for it. Get over, get over here. Ah, and here we go. Now we're blocked. Uh, it's unfortunate we don't have a couple more systems, but that's alright. We can work with this. We might be pressing the end turn button a couple times, but that's alright. And this is... Ah, we can colonize it. Excellent. There's only two planets here, but it is Terran, I guess. It must be. Oh, it's an ocean planet. Oh, huh. I 
because we can colonize ocean planets to start up the game. And there's three, wow. There are three titanium 70 resources on here, which is good for uh, industry. Mm, so for right now, I'm gonna leave my scout at the warp gate so that we'll be able to detect any enemies that come in. We go to a yellow sun, uh, star over here, sun up here. So actually, we're in pretty good shape. I think we could just go beeline right for the applied Casimir effect. So that'd be cool. All right, let's end the turn. Oh, now we have a lot of options opened up to us. Excellent. So we finished our research on Xenobotany, which allows us to colonize tundra planets. And right now, we could go, to get to Casimir, we could go to efficient shielding, which will unlock us uh, this ship class of destroyer, which is, allows us to put more weapons on our ship. Um, or we could go with compact fusion reactors, which gives us an uh, empire improvement. Oh, okay, it's an empire improvement. I thought it was an actual engine that you had to retrofit. That's cool, so. Now the movement, I don't know exactly the effect when it's plus two movement on empire. Now does that mean you get plus two when you're moving in systems controlled by your empire? Or is that just kind of their phrasing for, oh yeah, your ship gets plus two because you're an empire. <laughs> I'm not really sure, um, but we should be able to see it. Uh, we're gonna research this one, basically. Oh, uh, and we also can colonize Arctic. I'm not sure if we have access to any Arctic. Let me see. This is barren. Arctic, oh, huge Arctic as well, with moon. Wow, that's very, very good. And any Arctic over here, tiny Arctic. Uh, we have seismic activity though, but we do have that Eden insect, so it might be worth it to colonize that. Arctic here, so, but this is definitely the way to go, I think. Um, so we're gonna go that way, in my humble opinion. Now, okay, so we don't have anything queued up here because, okay, so this was the research, so I'll dismiss that message. Now we completed the construction of the evolved soils exploitation, so we have an open queue here, uh, which is good because we just got access to. Uh, colonize tundra planets so we're going to colonize tundra it's gonna move one person oh, I guess that's uh, yeah I guess so there'll probably be one less person here and one person here that makes sense we're gonna uh, increase our population pretty soon anyway but uh, it's good that I made that connection um, but it costs 70 industry and one person so it's gonna take eight turns uh, because we are producing in this system nine industry, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. We should do the math. Yeah. I like to know, you know, how the systems all kind of work. Knowing the underlying math behind everything is pretty cool to see how it kind of all works and it makes sense in your head. That's why I'll kind of stop and kind of do some brief math in my head. Okay, so we have that queued up. We have our guy up here who's earning XP as well. Uh, I think he earns one per turn that he is assigned as a system manager hero guy we don't have enough dust yet to recruit another hero for our other system here we're churning away over here and we need to build a colony ship uh, as soon as possible to go over here i would say would be the best one yeah because we get that nice luxury resource but we'll see okay so we're gonna hit and turn enough speculating damn it hit the goddamn turn button we're only on turn seven okay not much happened there in fact i think we can just hit and turn again Which, this is probably gonna go on for a while because it's going to take nine more turns to get to compact fusion reactors and then another 10 or so turns to get to the Casimir effect, which will, <laughs> which will allow us. Is it really called the Casimir effect? Yes, it is. Of course it is. I'm sure the 
Mass Effect uh, has nothing to do with that. Alright, let's see. Not much else we can do. I think the early game is just kind of a lot of this, from what I've seen. Unless, I mean, uh, the game settings, you could increase constellation size, I suppose. Or if, I think I've, I've heard if you increase constellation size and increase your opponent's size, you might uh, get more. You might be able to interact with uh, other players or AI players sooner. Let me just make sure our approval is a little bit less. I think it was at 40 or 50, um, but it went down because I think if we highlight over, we can get a better, there's a way to see if I can. I'm looking for like the specific breakdown of why they don't like me as much. Come on. Oh, I could have swore. Well, oh, okay. Uh, maybe? Okay, there's... F yeah. Yeah, but it's not this one. It's this one. Yes, minus 1.2 from overpopulation. Right, because we have four over here. Because we just popped a population. But this one's going to go over here once it's colonized, I believe. We'll keep an eye on that as well. Okay. Enough diddly daddling. Okay, again, not much has changed. Right. Oh, we could, you know, we could buy a hero. We should pay attention to that. Thanks for not really buying a hero. Okay, here's a level up for our hero. Notice he was at 5 out of 10 the last time we looked at him. Now he's at 10 out of 20, so he leveled up, and you can unlock abilities. This one gives him more labor, which is good for industry and food. Mit wit, which is death and science, offense and defense. I think... Right now, I think we're going to go with uh, plus 3 labor. And you can see we were at plus 10% for these. Now we're at plus 16 because these are based on his labor attribute, which is cool. I like seeing that. Seeing how everything ties together. Six more turns on that. How many more turns on this? One turn. Okay. And this? Two turns. Okay. Next turn, we're going to have something to do. I, I promise. It's a slow start. Okay, that was the indicate uh, notification that that we colonized this planet. Excellent. Okay, we need an exploitation. It's tundra. I don't think there's specific. Uh, yeah, we get lava, arid, and barren for the real good exploitation. Uh, we have. We need some more production. So I think I'm going to go for. Ah, press the wrong button. Oh, and actually, let's. Yes, see, we had four people on this planet last turn. When we finished colonizing, that fourth person went here. Which also means, I bet... Okay, so we still have overpopulation disapproval. Ah, yeah, and they also don't like more planets, these finicky citizens. So we have less approval. Yeah, total hover, 43.8, which is a little bit less, but that's okay for now. In the future we can s reduce the tax rate because we are getting plus 21 dust per turn which is pretty good but we can decrease the tax rate in order to make our people like us more and there's also heroes that have plus two approval and there's also resources that do that too so it's all about balancing that out okay so let's do an exploitation of production on this guy so that'll take three turns to do so that's all good so actually how long would it take to do a colony ship? 15 turns, yeesh. Okay. I wonder how much it would cost to buy it. Born for dust. Hmm. I think we'll leave it like that for now. We have one more turn on this exploit over here, and our scout's chilling over here, so let's do the turn thing. I forgot to buy a hero again. Alright, first things. Okay, I'm not going right to here. Is it really worth it to get one of these guys? Oh, I'm not sure it's even worth it. They won't affect. They'll have. They'll affect our defense. Hmm. Never expel. Oh, huh. So if you expel them, we won't be able to recruit them, but the enemy will. 
I wonder if the enemy can do the same thing. Okay, so we have... So let's scrap that idea. Um, no heroes for now. There's not... There's not any current heroes that would be good for a system administrator. So we're just gonna... Chill with that one guy. Now way completed. It's exploitation on this planet so let's see 25 turns because there's not much production only six yeah 162 divided by six would be around 25 and we don't have much population in the first place and so we don't have an exploitation to do um, we don't have a ship to build oh and there's also over here you can see our hangar will list ships that we've recently built and improvements since I'm the oh hell I even forget what, what am I okay I'm the United Empire right um, and one of the traits is all the star systems that you colonize get automatically get a colonial base which is plus two to food plus two to industry and it says it costs one industry which is a little strange I think that's probably just a game thing like all their all their improvements have to have a cost of more than one or something like that because w it was automatically built so I don't know if mm, well maybe well other uh, civilizations or, or factions could probably build it that's probably why okay but we need a system improvement and we have a Terran now this one is good for anything other than Terran but we do get plus 10 uh, on the whole star system which is pretty good and we do need industry see these are these two right here industry convert to science and industry convert to dust those will basically put an infinite loop uh, on your and converting you know 25 percent of your system's production to where's the outpost oh I didn't know that. Okay, so we're not actually a colony yet. We're just an outpost. You can actually tell if it's a colony, I think, because of this. And I think that also has to do with um, e enemy attacking, uh, what's considered hostile or not. Because when you encounter a, civiliz a new faction, you'll automatically be in a state of Cold War until you can declare peace or if you, you declare war. And when you're... Cold War, you can attack without um, automatic, you know, getting into a war, automatic penalty. You can attack anywhere except in the radius, in the actual, you know, system colony instead of outpost. So, 22 turns. Hmm, that's interesting. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Okay, um, so we have these two, which are like in civilization at the end of the game when, don't, when you don't have anything to research or research anymore or you uh, research a thing that'll let you um, queue up something to something else like uh, oh hell I forget off the top of my head but basically this will take 25% of our industry and it'll put it into science so it'll increase our research um, which is good uh, and this one will increase our dust uh, so for right now actually I think I'm just going to go and just queue this up Actually, might be worth it to do science. Let's just do science. Whatever. Okay, this guy's good. Uh, da, da, da. Sorry, the turn took so long. I'm looking at the time here. I don't remember when I started. I'll just go. Until I only wanted to play about an hour. That's all the time I have anyway. Alright, uh, that really happened, did it? No, of course not. Okay, we have one turn. Stuff is going to happen now couple things I think yes okay we have our compact fusion reactors which opens up arctic planets and we have our advanced magnetics drive which is an empire improvement uh, and let me dismiss this for right now and actually go into our empire management so it isn't let me look at ah okay so yep so it doesn't show up. I thought it might show up on our empire-wide bonus factors here. Actually, it might. Oh, I should have checked this beforehand. It might have just been plus four from empire. Yeah. But now it's plus six. So 
this guy was did have seven movement. Um, what should we call it? Movement points, I guess. Yeah, movement points. Uh, but now he has nine, so that's cool because of that research. Uh, and we also can, like I said, colonize Arctic planets, which shows up here. And we can actually, actually, let's go ahead and cancel this. And we're gonna colonize Arctic here. It's gonna take ten turns, but you know, we don't have really anything else to do. And we can also colonize. Uh, hang on one second. Okay, I did complete some. I was thinking for a second I left the queue empty for a turn. Yes, we. We. What the hell is this? Oh, yeah. This was our. And this thing. Exploitation on this planet. Our industrial zones. So we get a plus one industry. So you can see plus two. The industrial potential is plus two from the population plus one from its type which is tundra and plus one from infrastructure which is this thing our industrial zones okay but now we want to colonize this huge arctic planet very good potential here so colonize that and our our approval this tooltip is very finicky okay there it is it is down a little bit more because of overpopulation probably gonna have to do something about that void stone would be good but it's lava anyway I think that's about all we can do oh, I was still thinking of well, let's see Come on, two. 15 turns 11 turns why did it say 11 it says 15 oh because you know 15 from now because we have this queued up or it would cost 400 to buy. Well, where would we send it? Okay, we'd be sending it over here. Talk waters. Hydromiel, that'd be pretty good. Or we'd be sending it up here, which I think is crap. No, we are. Yeah. Actually, let's. Colonizing this one might upset our people a little bit too soon. Let's uh, queue this one and put it in production for a couple turns until we can afford to just buy it out. And then I think I'll just buy it out. Yeah, let's do that. Whoops. What was that? Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, before I did the turn, it warned me that I hadn't yet done research. And what we wanted was the applied Casimir effect. So that's going to take 14 turns. There will be an empire improvement. Excellent. This is, w yeah, another thing we want. We want negative 22% expansion disapproval on our system. So that'll increase, that'll be better for our approval rating for all systems, empire wide, and we'll be able to go through our warp, our wormholes. All right. All right, everything looks good. Let's go. I'm surprised I haven't, you know, someone hasn't wandered on me but then again um, they have to have the Casimir effect as well and I'm not sure if there are any factions that start out with it or start closer to it I know in the last game I played it seemed like I encountered a couple people very very early before I even had the Casimir effect Excellent, okay. Let's go ahead and do this. So we're gonna spend our dust and it'll be ready next turn. So right now we have seven dust, but that's alright. We're making 27 per turn and we don't really have, we're not in a war or anything, so I don't see that as being a problem. Okay. Lots of things going on here. We got our completed construction. So we're going to, what, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can do it, go into your hangar right here and see that you have your ship. Then you can create a fleet from the selected ship. You could click on this little icon, which is the hangar icon, I guess. Um, and you can create a fleet from here. So we're going to create a fleet. And let's see. You can also, if you want to move population around, you can create colony ships and then move them to a planet and then you can select a planet 
and it'll basically put that person on that planet so if you want to move people around that would probably be the way to do it but right now what did we say we wanted to do gives us a lot more production go for this mostly well not mostly but and this actually yeah he has a lot more movement points well not well eight that's pretty good that's almost as much as our scout which is ridiculous maybe we should improve our scout design actually let's do that right now our scout should have better design does he even have yes he does have then again I mean we did I'm not sure if the Okay, the class does affect a couple things. Okay, it only affects really tonnage, not really what your maximum speed is or anything like that. So, putting the engine on. Well, they do differ by one. I'm wondering why that is. <laughs> they differ by uh, one movement point, rather. Sure, because they're both using the same engine, plus two on ship. There might just be a base movement speed for each ship class. I wish they, which the developers might need that. It would be nice if they would add something like, uh, let me show you. I want, I would like all this info, the attack, defense, statistics, to show up when you're doing your modifications. Because right now you don't really know. I mean, you have a couple things over here. Maybe I'm missing it. Maybe it's there, but I just don't know where it is. Let's see. If I auto upgrade, what is, what's it do? Uh, no, reset. Upgrade. Looks like it added a ton of hard kinetics. More layered hulls. More range sensor. But we don't, we don't need our scout to be a military ship. In fact, it does make it a little bit more expensive. <laughs> Wonder if it might just be worth it to do that. Eh, that's okay. Okay, we wanted to increase the speed, but we can't really do that right now. That's okay. So he's going over there. But I wanted to queue up uh, something new. Let's actually increase our... We don't have any, actually, Arctic. We have a Tundra, so we will actually get plus 10 on our star system and then plus 1 per d d d per person on Tundra. So we'll get plus 2 up to a maximum of plus 5, so that's pretty good. And Arct so Arctic and a desert? Yes, desert as well. So this is a very good system improvement to get now and the benefits will come later and we have I think one oh we have five turns over there for colonizing send this guy over here what was this level up okay leveled up already he's just sitting there doing nothing alright so let's see here some more see this is the minister propaganda thing that's good that's plus 30 and where are That would really help. I think I might go for that. What are the other choices? We get three more. This one is kind of like balanced, it looks like. Yeah, defense, labor, meal, and offensive wit. That's from, yeah, plus one to have all five stats. Defense. Yeah, I think the good thing here would be yeah, some minister propaganda. Let's see what effect that had. Oh, ho, 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 that had a very good effect. They're very happy now. Which is good. I don't know the exact benefits. Well, let's hover over it. Okay, so you see at the bottom there's plus one from system approval. And this one has 1.6 from system approval. 1.6. And nothing here. They actually... Oh, you have to pay the hero. That's what I'm guessing that minus four at the bottom is there. But it's because our approval is better, 
we get better production food and science from the whole system which is excellent so that was a good investment there to note that for future playthroughs all right i think we're good yes and then i'm gonna have to stop this video at some point i don't know how long i've been playing that's all right all right we gotta move a turn and see if i make it did he make it i think he did which one is he this one okay so we're gonna colonize our small closure planet Because we have our resource exploitation. How'd that turn red? Oh, because we have a calling. Okay. So we have a resource exploitation because it's a strategic resource. Um, so right now we get plus one. We get plus one from st strategic resources because titanium plus one. And it says three. I wonder what that three means. Because hmm. I would expect we'd get plus three if there's three titanium 70 deposits, but it's just showing me getting one from strategic resources. Well, that's all right. Uh, and if we have a resource abundance, it might be. Well, we'll see. If we find another titanium and it's one or more, I, well, obviously one or more, and we get the abundance and we get that minus 30 on modules using titanium 70, which I'm not sure which modules would use that. I haven't gotten that far. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, uh, this is a ocean planet, so it doesn't have a specific exploitation that will work well, but let's take a look at where we're lacking. We're lacking in food, so let's go with food. Good production for just one planet. And take six turns. We have Yeah, it says we have three. Hmm. Well, that's alright. Maybe if it's you do get three in going toward the resource abundance, but you don't get the three times the effects. Yeah, maybe that's it. All right. We're still eight turns away from being able to use that wormhole. We are researching over here. We're produce producing over here, producing over here. Uh, four turns. Okay. Let's keep going. Alrighty, I don't think much happened there. Nope, let's keep going. And again. Sorry about this. Well, it's just the game. I think it'll get much more interesting once we start encountering other people. That'll start happening as soon as we get Casimir effect. Now, what did we... Yes, we have our heavy isotope refineries. Ooh, and we are doing very, very well in production now because we get plus 10, plus, let's see, we have tundra, one population on tundra. No, two, actually, so we get 12. Yes, and possibly more if we colonize this guy. Let's see, well, I think the move to do here would be to colonize this guy. Let's do that. And we still have shitty things. Hmm. We might want to... I mean, we're not really military focused right now. I was thinking we'd hire a hero and put him on maybe our maybe our scout. But he's not going to be doing a lot of Lots of stuff just happened. So we completed our Arctic colonization over here, and that was this pop-up as well. First settlement on an advanced and difficult planet type. All right then. This one over here. 
Now it does have seismic activ uh, activity, which is very bad here. Oof, minus 20 for planets. Is that this, really? Ouch. Oof. Oh, that's pretty brutal. I think it might be minus... How's that two of them? There it is. Minus 20, minus 10 from our Terran planet, and then minus 10 from the seismic activity. Oof. So we get, you can see we get negative modifiers to our FIDs for our system. Oof, that's brutal. Oh, well, what can we do? I think this one is what, Arctic? Is that you, Don? Uh, we need a... Uh, oh, anomaly reduction. Uh, that was what that was. So if we have a negative anomaly, we can reduce the anomaly. I wonder if we can boost the anomaly. Alright, keep an eye on that. Alright, so I think we're good. I think I'm going to get to the point where we get the Casimir effect. I'm going to warp over here and then we're going to call it the night. We are, once we research um, the Casimir effect, we're also going to get that minus 22 to, uh, what is it, expansion disapproval. So that'll help a little bit. Well, the only thing we really have is, what is this, Arctic? Yeah, there's no specific. I cannot remember. It's arid. That's the A1. So let's go with food surplus isn't as high as I'd like it. Everything else is pretty good. Let's just throw some food in there. Close that. Alright, next turn. I think a bunch of things are going to happen. Let's hope so, at least. Yes, okay. What the hell is this? Oh, okay, yeah, game event. Basically, it's a specific, specific event for our Casimir Effect research being done that says we can go through wormholes. So our research in here is done. And I think I'll leave research for my next video. I just want to basically send our guy to this wormhole here. Excellent. Oh, crap. Oh, God. All right, we're going to do auto for now. Because <laughs> I want to do, I want to spend some good time on this. We're going to die, pretty much. Yes, we, we died. That's not good. <laughs> uh, we wandered into hostile territory apparently and the guy did not like us being there so he attacked us and the battle system is a lot more involved so I'll get into that later but basically we have Kashmir effect now let's actually take a look at uh, the approval yeah we get less we were at minus 5 from expansion for disapproval. Now we're at minus 3.9. And this is churning. I think I'll just quickly build another scout ship. Actually, a defender might be good. Seven, nine. Let's go with our defender and see if we can speed him up. He's not all that full. Yes, kinetics and layered hold. Sensors. I would like him to be faster. I could give him some predictive plating. What does the layered hull do? Okay, it just deflects project kinetic around, whereas the armor actually affects the health. Maybe 
see we only we have very very basic modules it's a lot more complicated once you have to deal with a lot of modules. Repair. How much would this cost extra? How much? Whoops, I put two on there. That's interesting. Huh, maybe I should put two on there. Only 68 versus 62. That's not that bad. That's all we can afford, really. I mean, we could put repair on there, but let's keep it that. I'll apply that. And let's build one. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, what, what happened over here? Oh, okay, we actually did. Yeah, this was Sylph, which finished... Okay, so, yeah. The, the two new planets were both doing their Earth splits at the same time, so we need a new... we can really do we could build a ship another defender because that guy seemed very very hostile am I doing that so I want to make sure I'm doing defender 2 over here yes I am I think I'm going to call this uh, this one to a close. Hopefully, uh, our next video we'll look at uh, getting a new research going. We'll look at uh, trying to scout this area without provoking attack. And we'll keep uh, building up our empire. Alright, later.